Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from Stoic Pool, and I said that was the last time I'm going to introduce myself, sorry about that. This is module one, essentially, of the Aiken course, empowered by the Cardano Foundation. And in this module, we're going to start with a single validator. It's going to be super simple. We're going to be looking at a marketplace. We're going to have a look at custom types for datums and redeemers. We're going to be looking at handling validation for different parts of our transaction. And yeah, with that being said, let's dive straight in. Okay, so uh, first off, let's have a little plan and a little think about how our, our spending validator, our marketplace is going to work. So if we have a marketplace, there are really three things that we want to allow people to do. We want to allow people to sell uh, the assets, right? So we need to let people list assets. And if that's the case, we need to be able to set a price for that asset, like just some NFT. We'll go with NFT. So. Our NFT, so if someone comes to our marketplace, they want to sell an NFT, they're going to need to list it and they're going to have to put a price on that NFT. And then we're going to need to let anyone come and buy that NFT, provided the person who's selling it gets paid the amount of ADA that they specify. Um, but there's one other thing we might want to do as well, which is edit the price. So if someone decides oh, I want to sell it for less or I want to sell it for more, that seller needs to be able to update that price on chain so that anyone who tries to buy then in the future has to pay the new price. So that's three options. And that's basically what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be having a look at in this module. So let's dive straight in. So first off, we're going to create a new folder. Uh, we're going to make an always folder and we're just going to stick that always.ak validator in so we can get that out of the way. And then we're also going to do one, and we're just going to call it one, and we're going to create a marketplace.ak in there. And then we're going to start our validator called market, and we're going to have a spend purpose, and we're going to have our optional datum. We're going to have a redeemer, an OREF, our output reference, and a transaction. And remember that returns a bool. I'm going to keep putting bool in. You don't need to when you're writing Aiken validators. It knows that it only returns a bool. But just for to get you familiar with this stuff, we're just going to write bool all the time. So there, we'll just return true. We'll run Aiken check. And you can see we've got one warning. And that's because we can't use one as our file name. We have to use letters. We're going to change that file to, uh, folder to A. So module one is in the A folder. All right, guys, just in case you were wondering. Um, so we're going to change that to A and then we can go back to our market validator. And then underneath, we're going to write else fail because we're only going to allow that spend purpose to work. Right? It's just for spending. Then we're going to add all our imports, so Cardano slash transaction. And we're going to put our date and redeemer, output reference, and transaction in. Then we can run A can check, or we can save it, and we can run A can check, and you'll see we got zero errors and four warnings. And as we know, this is just because we're not using the date and redeemer, output reference, or transaction right now, so we're not really going to mess around with that. I'm just going to discard them all, and then we can move on. So now we've got our validator set up, we can set what the rules are going to be. We're going to sell assets for a fixed price in ADA. The seller can remove their assets, delist them. The seller can update the listing, they can edit it. And anyone can buy if they pay the seller, which is buy. Now these three cases, delist, edit and buy, are basically the redeemer cases. And in the next video, we're going to have a little look at our custom types and what datums and redeemers are. And then we're going to get straight into the validation logic. I'll see you then.